Last week I was in Scotland in Perth for the conference of the Scottish National Party and it was very exciting to be there in the very week that the Edinburgh Agreement had been signed which now paves the way for the referendum on independence in Scotland in 2014. But there are very exciting developments happening across Europe. You may have seen last weekend there were elections in the Basque Country and with me is my colleague Jose Luis Linus Osorio who's from the Basque Country to give us uh, an update of the situation there. Yes, thank you Jill. Um, in fact we had early elections in the Basque Country uh, last Sunday and we have had extraordinary results for the Basque National Parties. As you might know, uh, for the last three years, because there were early elections, we had for the first time ever a unionist government uh, with no national parties involved and they completely collapsed. Uh, they arrived only third and fourth position this time with the two Basque National Parties in first and second position and together the PNV, which is the uh, old nationalist party in the Basque Country with uh, 27 seats and 35% of the votes and in second position Bildu which is a coalition of uh, pro-independent parties, more left-wing parties, they arrive in second position with 25%. Both parties together now we have almost two-thirds of the seats in the Basque Country. I think it reflects really that the Basque people trust the Basque parties to solve solutions. I think it's very clear for the first time that the Unionist parties were in government, they have lost the trust of the Basque people. They have been severely defeated with loss of nine seats for the Socialists and three seats for the PP. And I think it reflects that uh, with our own Basque fiscal system, as you know, we have our own system, mm -hmm. which is not comparable with any other Spanish situation. The Spanish people is able to control their own fiscality and economic uh, growth. And I think that people trust the system and trust the Basque parties being able to continue uh, putting the system in the right way. And I think it was really for us, for the Basque people, a very good result. Mm. So independence for the, the stateless nations, as, as we call them, um, for, for more powers, for the right to determine our own future, is something that seems to be gaining momentum across Europe. Uh, Jordi Bacadit is with me too from Catalonia. Yes. You have elections coming up, you haven't had them yet, but we heard about the huge demonstrations for independence that have been in, in Barcelona too. Yes, and after uh, this uh, huge demonstration of uh, 1.5 million people uh, asking for independence in, in Barcelona, all Paul says uh, that the parties that are going to support a, a referendum on independence in Catalonia are going to do much better. So uh, that's that's a good uh, good prospect for, for for us as well. Mm. So um, we see in 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 Spain these these big changes. Um, to what extent are they linked to the economic situation to obviously the, the Basque economy is, is uh, successful and, and the Catalan too. Um, uh, is it focusing people's attention on the need to control their own futures and their own economies? Well, in Catalonia, the, the economic situation, I mean, even if, if uh, it has been traditionally uh, uh, doing very well, the economy, uh, nowadays, we are in a big crisis, so we have 850,000 uh, unemployed people, we have 100,000 uh, families without any allocation, any, any source of uh, income. So obviously there is a, there is a, a huge need to, to solve the, the fiscal deficit we have with, with Spain. And many people consider that uh, that's, that's the, the, the way to, to start uh, the economy, uh, you know, get get started, and mm. uh, and that we definitely should stop the fiscal deficit to 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 start uh, building our economy. Mm -hmm. Well, we, our parties, and others work together in the European Free Alliance here in the Parliament. We we support one another and we learn from one another. But one thing is very clear that the issue of independence is on the agenda in the whole of Europe.